Diwali is around the corner and for many Hindus, the biggest celebration of the year is coming. In this video, we look at why so many celebrate the festival of lights. First of all, let me start this video by wishing everyone watching a very happy Diwali. Here I want to focus on the meaning behind Diwali and why this celebration is so important to so many people around the world. Actually, this video naturally acts as a prelude for what's to come in the future of this channel, as I've been working on my biggest and most ambitious project to date, where I go into Hindu ideas and philosophy, and the life lessons we need to take from it, for which I've created a 10 part series. If that sounds of interest to you, please make sure to subscribe to see it when it comes out. Not only is Diwali a joyous occasion where people greet friends and family, presents are exchanged and lots of incredible food is eaten, but rather the celebration itself is deeply rooted with an important meaning, notably being called the festival of lights that encourages people to vanquish the darkness in the soul to allow the light to shine through, something we'll be delving deeper into later this video. For those new to the celebration, Diwali comes from the root word Deepwali, which means a row of lights, symbolised most prominently by Divas that are lit in all Hindu homes to dispel the darkness. However, to really understand Diwali, it's impossible to ignore the Ramayan. The Ramayan is one of the great epics in Indian history alongside the Mahabharat, and remains one of the most important texts in Hindu households, telling the story of Lord Ram, the seventh avatar of Lord Vishnu in Hinduism. Now, I can't really go into depth into the story of the Raman, as the 24,000 verses of the text is simply too big and too deep to cover in the space of a few minutes. However, to try and give a quick summary, the story is of Lord Ram, who is the rightful heir to be the next king of Ayodhya, but is forced into exile to a forest with his wife Sita and brother Lakshman due to political issues. During their time there, Sita garners the attention of Ravan, the king of Lanka, who kidnaps her while Ram is out trying to capture a deer for her. On finding out about Sita's capture, Ram along with Lakshman pursues Ravan to save her, meeting various individuals and groups to help them along the way, not least the monkey god Hanuman, who becomes the most devout follower of Ram. As a great battle ensues, Ram finally defeats Ravan and saves Sita after which they return to Ayodhya, where in the darkness of the night, rows of divas, small lanterns, light the path to their rightful place in the kingdom. Now, obviously this is an extremely short summary of a story that has such depth that people have been trying to analyse it for millennia, and for many is considered a part of real history. But, the key points I want to give here is that when it comes to the Ramayan, Ram's acts of patience and virtue lead him from a place of extreme misery and darkness, much of it forced upon him, to ultimately letting the light of his actions see him return to his rightful place. And before we move on, let's not ignore the others in the story, including Sita's purity and strength throughout her ordeal, the strength and unquestionable support of Lakshman, and the devotion and faith of Hanuman, arguably the one with the greatest show of strength in the whole epic. Each character in the Ramayan is layered, deep and a complex and fully realised individual from which we can learn invaluable lessons on life. However, the key lesson here that I really want to share with you is that from darkness comes light. In both Eastern and Western philosophy and culture, the concept of dispelling darkness with light is common practice when talking about the depths of overcoming our challenges in life. The Ramayana tells of this in a way which can be easily understood, as through patience, perseverance and acting virtuously, Ram came across all he needed to help him fulfil his duty to overcome Ravan and save Sita. However, equally prevalent in Diwali celebrations is the thematic nature of light in the midst of darkness. In the story of the Ramayana, when Ram, Sita and Lakshman returned to Ayodhya, they were met with many rows of lanterns to light their path following their ordeal. 
During the Diwali celebrations, Hindus will light Diwas in their homes and set off fireworks into the darkness of the night sky, bringing a resplendent and joyful light in amidst the darkness. You see, in life, we're all faced with moments or periods of darkness and suffering, but the key here is that we can dispel that darkness with the light of wisdom, to overcome ignorance with knowledge, and to truly appreciate the light, you must first encounter the darkness. This idea and concept of knowledge is something I'll be delving deeper into in the series I release on Hinduism, but here I'd like to focus on the key lessons of Diwali. The importance of Diwali is that it's a reminder that regardless of all that we've faced in the past year, it's critical to move forward in life with confidence and optimism. For many Hindus, it's a time where they'll purchase new clothes, which has a metaphorical meaning of starting anew with renewed drive and purpose. This fresh start prepares them for the year ahead, ready for what battles may come, and with the knowledge that ultimately, their actions will see them dispel their suffering through perseverance. So the first lesson is to never lose sight of the meaning of life, let Diwali be a reminder of what you work towards, and start afresh in your pursuit towards your goals. This leads us to the next lesson, that optimism and positivity need to triumph over our perceived negativity in life. This is quite a simple concept really, if you wallow in the depths of negativity then you'll naturally bring misery to your life, perhaps allowing the nihilistic outlook dictate your actions, which leads to destructive behaviour rather than something productive and progressive. So the next lesson to take away is that regardless of what happens, don't lose sight of what can be. After all, the greatest creator in your life is you. And look, that which is meaningful and of great importance won't come easily, so you need to have great patience in what you pursue, as some things take a great deal of time, perhaps a lifetime to achieve. For many Hindus, the ultimate goal is moksha, the liberation from all material desires, which can take multiple lifetimes to achieve. So work as though your actions today cannot be delayed even by a second but to have the patience to pursue a goal that may not bear fruit for generations. After all, these are often the most meaningful goals in life. And the way you live shouldn't be for the self, because we can't fulfil our purpose alone. Ram didn't save Sita alone, he needed the support of Lakshman, Hanuman and so many others. In business, success cannot be achieved if you're not offering value to others, most notably your consumers. So. Learn to live in a way where you bring joy to others with no expectation and you will naturally find people who will support you in your pursuits. Finally, it's important to dispel the darkness within you to bring light to your life. We all suffer, we all struggle, and we all have to deal with hardships. However, by learning to bear the burden and have the ability to move forward regardless, with optimism and hope, is to accept the fruits that life has to offer as without darkness, we cannot truly appreciate life. So if you take nothing else away from this video, at the least take this, don't let the darkness consume you, instead always remember that the light will shine brightest in that darkness. Do you celebrate Diwali? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to subscribe with the bell on to make sure that you get notified of the future series on Hindu philosophy. Thanks for watching.